Hey guys, I'm Aspen from the Edmonds Studio in Oklahoma. I'm so excited that you clicked on my video. Thank you for letting me into your home. Um, so essentially what we're going to be focusing on, what we're going to be working on is for sure cardio, and then we're also going to be kind of working on some eagle arm variations. So just to show you as far as levels, so the first level is here, okay? So you just hands are clicking, elbows are kissing right here. Okay, level two, cross the arms over so you can open up to the T position, cross those arms and then backs and the palms are just touching right here, okay? But you still have that twist, right? Okay, level three, eagle arms. So you're gonna come all the way across. This time, the palms are actually gonna touch wrapping together here, okay? This is eagle arms. Hands out of the face, elbows are aligned in the shoulder blades, and there you have it. Okay, so whenever we get to that point, you'll have your variations, you'll have your options, and you know where we're going. So, let's start in child's pose. I hope you enjoy this flow. Be ready for fast pace, be ready for cardio, be ready for a heck of a workout, all right? Let's do this. Okay, so child's pose, take those hips all the way back. Toes are kissing, click that bottom all the way back to those heels, and just stretch it out here, okay? Option to shift back and forth if that feels good on your lower back. Option to just hold, sinking those hips down with every inhale and every exhale you take. So let's take a few breaths together. When we inhale, when you're ready, we're gonna start the count for a full count of four. So let's inhale all together for one, Two, release the neck. Three, four, exhale, walk the hands out a little bit farther. Take the bottom back for two. One, inhale all together for four. Three, bringing that full breath into the belly and exhale, release. Take those hips all the way down. Walk the hands out a little bit farther, just like last time, really stretching out the shoulder blades, really engaging here. We've got one more all together, one full breath. Inhale, breathe, exhale, let it all go. Shifting forward to that tabletop position, we're going to come into a tabletop hands. We're right aligned with the shoulder blades here. We're going to inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, dome the back, push the hands out of the mat, stretching out the shoulder blades, stretching out the back here. Option to shift back and forth if that feels good. Take whatever organic movements you'd like. Go ahead, drop the belly, lift the gaze, inhale. And exhale, release, let it go. Whatever stresses, whatever tensions you're holding on to, just release, rock the hips back and forth again. Whatever organic movements, whatever you'd like. Okay, go ahead and inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. One more time. Exhale, dome the back. Really push those hands out of the mat, stretching whatever kinks you might have. And when you're ready, you want to curl the toes as we just shift the hips all the way back, coming into our first down dog. So just slowly, slowly, slowly lift those hips up, walking out the dock, getting some blood moving. Inhale here. First down dog, so check in. Make sure everything's aligned here. Option to walk the hands out a little bit farther. Option to walk the feet out a little bit farther. You can be here, you can be here. Wherever you are, just shift those hips back and forth, stretching out the lower back, stretching out the outsides of the hips. Go ahead and lift those heels all the way up, crackling those toes. Option to circle the ankles if that feels good. When you're ready, go ahead and drop those heels. We're going to walk the feet all the way up to meet the hands. Feeling that stretch, inhale, halfway lift. Pull the shoulder blades out of your ears. This is a great hamstring stretch, so really take advantage of it. Exhale, fold. Inhale, meet your eyes. Lift all the way up, all that positive energy. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. We're going to take those feet all the way back, coming into a plank. Hop or step back, shift back up, down dog. Walk the feet one more time here, getting some blood moving. Everything's moving. Go ahead and walk the feet all the way up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. We're just going to come to that seated position as we slowly crouch all the way down, meeting me in a boat pose. So slowly shift back, meeting me in boat. You can be here, toes slightly resting on the mat, or you can be floating, or you can be fully extended. Option is yours. Regardless, we're just going to tap those toes and lift. Belly's engaged the whole time. If you have any lower back pain, it's because that belly's not engaged. So just suck that belly in. You've got five, four, Meeting me in a low boat pose in two. One, go ahead and drop down low boat. Lift back up, use the abdominals, crunch it in. Good, drop it down. Belly's engaged here, lift it up. Few more, you can do this, lift up. Inhale down, exhale up, just two more. Inhale, 
Exhale, good, you've got one more. Inhale, exhale. Good, meeting me in low boat. We're just gonna flutter those feet as we draw. Belly's engaged the whole time. Lower back is glued to the mat, flutter the feet. You've got 10, nine, breathe, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and drop the shoulder blades down. Legs are still being the lift. Hands come behind the head and we're just gonna crunch it up. You can do this, belly's engaged. You've got eight, that's it, seven, six, breathe, five, four, three, two, one, woo, bring those knees in, give yourself a tight hug, rock gently back and forth on that lower back, it should feel so good, inhale, exhale, release, coming into a happy baby, if it's in your practice, if you'd like, we're going to ease into it, so just slowly make some big circles with the knees, feeling the stretch all throughout the inner thighs, it should feel really good here, take whatever direction you'd like, when you're ready, go ahead and take the opposite direction, just stretching out, warming up the inner thighs. And you can be right here, or if you'd like to come into that happy baby, option to grab the outsides of the feet or the big toes as you pull the knees, I'm sorry, <laughs> into the armpits. Inhale here, shift back and forth on that lower sacrum. Option to extend one leg and then the other. Whatever you'd like here, just enjoy this stretch. Okay, we're here for one more breath, inhale. Exhale, go ahead and bring those knees back to center. We're gonna take a few rocks and rolls, so just grab the backs of those thighs, meeting me in a forward fold. When you're ready, I'll meet you there. Coming into ragdoll, take your time. We'll meet you in a ragdoll position. Neck is heavy, shaking it down. Shaking it now. Option to rock back and forth, feeling a different stretch in those hamstrings. Go ahead and drop the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach, rise all the way up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Up. Exhale, fold. Hands plant, step or hop back to that plank. Shift forward, take your chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, bring it all the way up, feet to hands, halfway lift. Inhale, all the way up, exhale, fold. Inhale, reach, rise. Exhale, fold. Hands are going to plant, inhale, halfway lift. You guessed it, we're coming to that chaturanga. Hands plant, step it back or hop. Come into that chaturanga, inhale up. Exhale, down. From here, we're going to go ahead and raise the right leg. Inhale for your three-legged dog, right leg rises. Exhale, knee the nose. Drop the right foot, coming into a low lunge, so drop the left knee. Inhale up, arms go up. We're going to actually field goal position those arms, stretching out the shoulder blades here. We're going to curl the left toes under as we lift up for high lunge. Lift up for high lunge, arms fully extend here. Inhale. Exhale, we're going to come into pyramid. So extend the right leg in front of you as you reach forward, knee the nose. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bring that nose to the knee, stretching out the backs of the hamstring. From here, we're going to come into a wide-legged forward fold. So sim simply take the feet in a wide-legged forward fold position. Take the hands all the way to the left and bend in that right knee. Extend it up. Bend. We're just stretching out the left leg. Bend one more time. Extend up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. We're going to go ahead and frame the left foot. So now you're at the back of your mat. We're in a low lunge on the left side. From here, we're going to lift that left leg up. Inhale. Exhale, left foot meets your right. Step or hop to the, front, to the back of that mat in a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your eyes. Hands go all the way up. We're going to clasp those hands behind us. Stretching again the shoulder blades, the arms. So inhale, puff the chest, lift the gaze, belly out. Exhale, fold, keeping the clasp here, and go ahead and release, hands plant, inhale, halfway lift, stretching out the hamstrings, shoulder blades, exhale, fold, hands plant, hop or back to your chaturanga, take it if you please, or just meet us in that down dog, we're going to inhale all the way up, left leg rises, exhale, left knee to nose, we're just shifting over to the left side, drop that right knee, you're in a runner, low lunge here, we're going to shift those arms all the way up, Field goal, the arms, curl the right toes under, lifting up, arms go all the way up in your high lunge now. 
As you shift forward, extending the left leg, nose to knee. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bring that nose to the knee. Again, we're going to meet in that wide-legged forward fold, so just walk the hands all the way over to the right foot. And we're going to bend in that left knee and extend it up. Bend in the left. You should feel this stretch in the back of the right leg. One more time, bend. Lift it up, back to center. Inhale, halfway lift, stretching out both hamstrings. Exhale, fold. Walk the hands, frame the right foot. From here, we're going to lift that right foot all the way up. Right foot meets your left, you're in down dog. We're going to hop it forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise all the way up again. Shoulder or hands are going to clasp. Again, stretching out those shoulder blades, pulling shoulder blades out of the ears. Gaze, option to go up, drop the neck. Exhale, fold. Release that clasp at the very end of your fold as we inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. We're going to pick up the pace here a little bit, just moving through that same flow. So go ahead and meet me in your plank. Take your chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale down. We're going to get that heart rate moving. So inhale, right leg rises. Right knee to nose. Drop the foot, drop the left knee, lifting up, low lunge. Inhale. Exhale, field goal. Curl the left toes under, lift up, high lunge. Inhale here. Exhale as you straighten out the right leg in front of you. You're in pyramid pose with the left heel spiked. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Go ahead and come to that wide legged fold as we drag the hands over to the left foot, bending in the right knee for three, two, and one. Meeting me in a wide legged forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and frame that left foot as we come into a low lunge on the left side. We're going to lift that left foot all the way up. Meeting the right. Dropping down, take that chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale down. Go ahead and hop or step to the front of that mat or back of that mat. Sorry. Inhale, halfway lift. I'm moving you guys all around the place. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach to rise all the way up. Hands clasp. Pull those shoulder blades out of the ears as you exhale, fold. Lift the shoulder blades all the way up or hands all the way up, stretching out those shoulder blades. Exhale, drop the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Hands plant. Take that chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, knee to nose. Drop the foot, drop the right knee, low lunge, inhale, lift. Field goal. Exhale, curl the right toes under, lift up, high lunge. Inhale, here. Exhale, take that left leg straight as you fold over here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, nose to knee. Go ahead and come into that wide-legged forward fold as you take the hands over to the right foot, bending the left knee for three, two, one. Coming back into that wide-legged forward fold, back to center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Walk the hands back to that right foot. You're in a low lunge here. We're simply just going to take the right foot up all the way to the three-legged dog, meeting the left, shifting forward, taking that chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale down. Step or hop to the front of that mat. Inhale. Lifting up halfway left. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach rise all the way. Exhale, hands clasp, pull the shoulder blades back. Maybe drop the neck if that feels nice. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and release the hands once you get to that forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step it back. Take that chaturanga. we got to warm up the shoulder blades, warm up the arms as we reach for that eagle pose. So go ahead. Right leg rises. Inhale. Exhale. Knee to nose. Drop the left knee. Lifting up. Nothing's changing. You're in a low lunge here. Feel of goal of those arms. Inhale. Go ahead and lift up as you curl the left toes under. Arms extend up and extend over that forward folding into that right leg. Inhale here. Go ahead and halfway lift. Exhale. Nose to knee. Coming in that forward fold, hands are going to walk over to the left foot as you bend in the right knee for three, two, one. Lifting up in that wide-legged forward fold, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Framing the left leg or left foot. Go ahead and pick that left foot all the way up, three-legged dog. Left foot meets your right, shift it forward, take that chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. Wait. <laughs> Let's go ahead and hop it forward and stretch out those shoulder blades. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. We're not perfect, I promise. Inhale, all the way up. 
Go ahead and clasp those hands, pull the shoulder blades out of the ears. And exhale, fold. Go ahead and drop those arms once you come to that forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Hands plant, hop into that plank, shift into chaturanga. Inhale up, now left side. <laughs> exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Knee to nose, drop the foot, drop the right knee, low lunge, lifting up, inhale. Field goal, as you exhale, curl the right toes under, lift up for that high lunge. Go ahead and fold over that left leg, coming into that pyramid pose with a spiked right heel. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, nose to knee. Come into that wide-legged forward fold. Take the hands all the way to the right foot as you bend in the left knee for three, two, one. Coming into that wide-legged forward fold, back to center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, go ahead and walk the hands all the way to the right foot. We're going to pick up that right foot. Take it all the way up into that down dog. Right foot meets your left. Take that chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale down. Hop or step to the front of that mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise all the way. Grab those hands. Clasp the shoulder blades one more time. Pull the shoulders out of the ears as you exhale, fold. Once in that forward fold, go ahead and release the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Take that chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale, down dog. I love to incorporate a cardio series throughout my class. So what we're going to do is we're going to shift forward to plank. If this is too much, go ahead and hold the plank. But from here, we're going to take right knee, right elbow. Take it back. Left knee, left elbow. Take it back. I think you know where we're going. Let's pick up the pace for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. Open up for side plank, whichever direction you'd like. Inhale, arm goes up. Exhale, plant it back. You've got eight wide-legged froggers. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Opposite side, side plank. Inhale, arm goes up. Exhale, hand plant. You have five. That's it for five, four, three, two, one. One, woo, come and take that chaturanga or down dog, whichever you'd like. Either way, I'll meet you in child's pose. So we just did the beginning of a warm up. <laughs> I stretched out your body, I stretched out everything for you just in a more active style of a pace. My yoga is very much kind of like a cardio, endurance. I love to keep you moving, I love to keep it fast paced. So this next flow is where we'll incorporate eagle and do some more fun creative things, enjoy it, have fun, catch your breath, <laughs> towel off, get some water. We're gonna keep moving, promise you have nothing to worry about. This is all about strength, endurance, cardio. Gotta love it. All right, let's keep going. So, meeting me in down dog when you're ready. We're going to make sure that those hands, wrists are all in line with the shoulder blades as we shift those hips up. Okay, from here, go ahead and walk out your dog, get some blood moving back into those legs. When you're ready, we're going to inhale, right leg rises. We're going to take this right knee to right elbow and then lift it right back up. Again, right knee, elbow, lift it right back up. One more time, right knee, elbow, right knee, nose. Drop the right foot, lifting up, inhale, high lunge. We're going to take those prayer hands and we're going to take them behind the back, just a slight back bend here. And we're going to bring the prayer hands back to center. And we're going to twist to the right as we bend in that left knee. So twist prayer hands. Good. Lift it back up. Twist to the right. Good. You've got three, two, one. Holding here, we're just going to shift forward for that twisted runner's lunge. So again, left elbow is right outside the right knee. You're pulling those prayer hands in the center of your chest, pulling, feeling this stretch here. From here, we're going to inhale as we frame back that back to center. If you go above the right knee, we're going to lift that left foot coming into warrior three. Left foot is flexed the whole time, belly's engaged, back is flat. Inhale here. I'm going to meet you in a reverse warrior. So we're going to slowly drop that left foot. As we reverse the warrior, arm goes up. Inhale here. Exhale. We're going to take that right arm and just take it right in front of the left foot. We're going to lift it back up. We're just flowing through this. Exhale down. You've got one more. Reverse your warrior. Inhale up. Exhale down. From here, we're just going to hold right here. 
As we inhale, catch that breath. Exhale, we're gonna slightly bend in the left knee coming into a side lunge to the back of the mat. Arms stay where they are. So you should feel this stretch right throughout this whole right leg. So we're gonna inhale here, gaze is up. Exhale, sweep that left arm to meet the right hand as you feel this stretch intensify through the back of the right leg. So again, option to walk the hands out farther past the foot, option to hold right here. Just as long as you're feeling this stretch, your hands can be wherever you'd like, depending on your flexibility. So from here, we're gonna inhale back up, open those cartwheel arms, challenging the balance here, challenging the core, belly's engaged, inhale. Exhale, cartwheel, frame the left foot, you're in a low lunge. We're not here for very long. We're gonna lift up high lunge. Exhale, hinge above that left knee, and we're going to float this right leg to meet the left foot. Float it up, take it back. There you go, you got it for four, three, two, one, meeting me in chair, arms are back. Inhale, exhale, squat it down a little deeper. We're here for five breaths. Yes, five breaths, you can do this. <laughs> Inhale, breathe, you got it. I challenge you with every exhale to sink those hips down farther. Inhale here, feel that burn. Make sure you can see the toes, make sure that everything is aligned, belly's engaged, bottoms are back. Inhale, exhale, you got one more, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Ooh, catch that breath. Exhale, fold. Hands are going to plant. I'm going to meet you in a plank. So either step or hop back to your plank. We're going to shift forward, take a chaturanga push-up. Hold for one, two, lift back up. Chaturanga push-up, hold for one, two, three, lift back up. One more. Chaturanga push-up for five, four, three, two, one. Curl the toes under. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, knee to nose. I promise you we would be always be moving. Go ahead and drop the left heel, open up for warrior two. Lifting up here, inhale. Exhale, from here we're just gonna take a side lunge to the front of the mat. So just shift forward, good. Inhale here. Exhale, frame the left foot. Drop the right knee. You're in a low lunge as we slowly lift up. Inhale, here's where we're gonna come into those eagle arms. So come and take those arms into a T position. Make sure that that left knee is, isn't tracking over the left foot. We're gonna take a right arm over left. Options are yours, I showed you your variation, so take whatever eagle arm position you'd like here. Option to go ahead and take a slight back bend if that feels good for you, or just hold, inhale. Exhale, bring those shoulder blades back to center. Again, hands out of your face. Everything's engaged here as we curl the right toes under. Lift up for high lunge with eagle arms. Inhale here. Exhale, release those eagle arms as we frame the left foot. From here, we're gonna lift the left knee. Inhale, open up for fallen triangle. Drop the left foot, lift it up. Drop, lift for three, two, one. From here, we're gonna take that nose to the knee, extend the left leg all the way up. Inhale, drop the left foot, shift forward to that plank, take your chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale down, let's keep going. Left side, you got this. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale up, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale up, exhale, knee to elbow, knee to nose. Drop the left foot. Inhale up, high lunge. Hands are gonna come to prayer above the head as we pull the prayer hands to the back of the shoulder blades. We're gonna bring those prayer hands back to center. Ooh, catch that breath. Inhale, drop the right knee, twist over to the left. Good, prayer hand twists. Four, three, belly's engaged the whole time. Two, one. From here, holding in that twist, we're just gonna shift forward. Right elbow's gonna kiss that left knee. And you're gonna pull the prayer hands to the center of the chest. Inhale here. Exhale, frame the knee, hovering above as we come into that warrior three. So just pop the right leg up, right foot's flexed, hips are all beaming forward. Inhale here, coming into that reverse warrior. As you go ahead and reverse that warrior, step it back, challenging the balance, like you're high-fiving the back wall, keeping it bending the left knee the whole time. Inhale, exhale, same thing as we come to the front of that knee. So left elbow is just slightly placed on the inside of that left knee. So inhale, lift it all the way up, reverse that warrior. Exhale down, just to flow, we're stretching out that side body. Inhale, one more time, all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Holding here, 
we're going to come into that side lunge to the back of the mat. So we're just switching the legs out as we bend in the right knee, keeping the arms where they are. Inhale, breathe, exhale. Right hand's gonna sweep forward, coming towards that left foot. So you can either be all the way out here, you can be right here, as long as you're feeling the stretch in the back of the left leg. So inhale, exhale, open up. Arms to T position, challenge the balance, engage the core, inhale. Exhale, frame the right foot. Dropping from here, we're gonna lift all the way up, high lunge. We're gonna shift it forward, hinge, coming into those chair taps. So from here, we're gonna take the left foot to right for five, four, three, two, one. Left foot's gonna meet your right. Arms are back, inhale. Exhale, drop that chair, you got this. Breathe into this. Chair is one of the best things for your body, for your core, for your legs. Everything is working here. Again, make sure that you can see those toes. You can see everything's in line. Your belly's engaged here. You've got three more breaths. Exhale, let it go. Sink into those hips. Challenge yourself. I know you're at home, but make it a mental game. You got this. You've got it for one, two, three. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and come into that plank, either stepping or hopping back. We're going to shift forward, coming into that chaturanga push-up hold. Hold for one two, inhale up, exhale down for three, two, one, inhale up, exhale down, hold for five, four, three, two, one, meeting me in down dog, or up dog, sorry, bend down dog, exhale, hips go up, inhale, left leg rises, exhale, knee to nose, left foot plants, we're going to come into that warrior two, so drop that right heel, as you open up for your warrior two, and just come into this low side lunge to the front of your mat, Frame the right foot, dropping the left knee this time, lifting up, low lunge, inhale. Exhale, arms go out to T position. Again, make sure that that right foot, right knee isn't tracking over the right foot. From here, left arm's gonna go over the right. Eagle arms again. Take whatever variation you'd like here. Every side is different. Inhale, make sure that those elbows are engaged with the shoulder blades, everything's aligned here. Our face is out, hands are out of your face. Option to go ahead and come into that low back bend if you'd like, stretching out that left hip. Inhale, back to center. Curl the left toes under as you come into that high lunge. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, go ahead and fold over that right leg. From here, we're just going to lift the right foot, open up for that fall in triangle. Right foot's floating the whole time this time, or option to just hold it. If you want to challenge yourself, go ahead and drop and lift that right foot. For four, three, two, one. Go ahead and bring that knee back to your nose, coming into that plank. Shift that foot all the way back for down dog. Right foot meets your left. Shift forward to plank. Take your chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale, down dog. Okay, abdominal series. You earned it. You can do this. I promise it's worth it. Inhale, shift forward. Again, everything's engaged. Right knee, right elbow. Take it back. Left knee, left elbow. Pick it up for 10, nine doubles or singles, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Opening up for that side plank, use this to catch your breath. Inhale, challenge yourself, you can do this. Exhale, right hand plants, you've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whatever side plank that you didn't take, take it this time, inhale. Exhale, you just have five, you can do anything for five, four, three, Two, one, woo, take a chaturanga if you're crazy, or come to that down dog. Inhale all the way up, catch your breath. We're gonna use the sun salutation to catch our breath here as we shift forward, take it all the way up to that forward fold, inhale. Halfway lift, woo, exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, all the way up, inhale. And exhale, release. One more time, inhale, halfway lift. Stretch out those hamstrings. Exhale, fold. Either take a chaturanga or just meet us in child's pose. Option is always yours. Okay, there's our flow. <laughs> I'm sweating, so I hope you are. <laughs> Catch your breath, towel off, grab some water. That's the flow we're going to add on. I'm going to keep challenging you. I'm going to make you work for it. I promise you deserve it. Your body is beautiful, and you can always make yourself better and challenge yourself in whatever stage of life that you're in. Okay, you guys ready for more? <laughs> You're like, let me towel off. <laughs> okay, 
let's keep going. We're not stopping. I told you this is always moving. All right, down dog. Let's keep going. Okay, so things that I'm going to be adding on, I'll introduce. It's nothing too insane, I promise. They're probably thinking like, oh my god. <laughs> okay, inhale, right leg right. Exhale, right knee to nose. This time, option to take a chaturanga push-up. And then lift back up. Take that leg all the way back. You do not have to take a chatter on your push-up. You can just keep going with the right elbow to knee. This is just if you want to keep advancing, it's always yours. So meeting me the right elbow to knee, whatever variation you took. So go ahead and take that knee to your nose. Drop the right foot. Inhale, lift, high lunge. Exhale, prayer hands as you take those prayer hands to the back of the, to the, back of the shoulder blades. And bring the prayer hands back to center. We're going to take those prayer twists. So go ahead and drop the knee, twist over. Good. For four. Three, two, one. Meeting me in that twist, we're gonna hinge forward. So again, make sure that that left elbow is right outside that right knee. Pull the prayer hands into the center of the chest. Inhale, exhale. So option is yours from here. If you wanna challenge your balance, go for it. You can either come back to the center as we frame the right knee like we did last time, or if you'd like, you can slowly float the left foot and then come into that warrior three. This is just a challenge in the balance, a challenge in the core, as we keep that left foot flexed. You're probably thinking like, hell yeah, I just did that. All right, reverse the warrior. <laughs> Inhale, exhale, take it back again. This moves, use this like a flow, You moving with your breath. Exhale, down. Inhale, up one more time. Exhale, down. From here, option to bind if you'd like. By no means do you have to. So if you're choosing to bind, make sure that this right elbow is touch right inside that right knee. So we're gonna take the arms, we're gonna clasp them behind. So this is a perfect visual, you can see how my hands are clasping, pulling the shoulder blades out of the ears, chest is proud, bending in that right knee. Inhale here, exhale, go ahead and release if you have your bind. Hands are gonna go back to where they were at the very beginning as we take a side lunge to the back of the mat, arms are where they are, just drag that right hand, feel graceful, feel like a rock star. Okay, inhale here. Exhale, sweep that left hand to meet your right foot. Again, hands can be wherever you would like. If they were here last time, I challenge you to maybe just walk them out a few inches, okay? This is just stretching out the back of the right leg, the back of the hamstring, it should feel good. Okay, inhale as we cartwheel those arms back open to a T position, challenging the balance here. Maybe you're a little wobbly, that's totally normal. Inhale, exhale, cartwheel, frame the left foot. From here, we're gonna inhale, high lunge, quickly inhale, lift. Exhale, hinge, reach like you're holding Simba or a baby, I don't know. Hold it, <laughs> inhale. Exhale, tap the right foot forward, take it back. Exhale, good, you've got three, two, one. Meeting me in chair, arms are back, inhale here. Exhale, sink it down, you can do this, I promise. Inhale, challenge yourself, get out of your head. I hope you've got music playing, I hope I'm not the only noise in your room right now. Okay. Listen to the music, get out of your head, embrace this burn. It's totally worth it. You'll thank me later. It might be a few days, but I promise you can do this. <laughs> okay, you've got three. Sinking down for two. One more time, sink. One, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Breathe, pull the shoulder blades out of the ears. This is just stretching out the hamstrings. Don't take it for granted. Inhale, exhale, fold. Hands are gonna plant, meeting me in that plank. Hop or step back, check in, belly's engaged. We're taking those chaturanga push-ups. I'm adding seconds on. So if you don't want to do it, don't do it. But if you're wanting a challenge, do it. Okay, down for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale up, coming back down for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale up, you've got one more for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Go ahead and curl the toes. Lift up, beam the shoulder blades coming into that up dog. Exhale for down dog. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, knee to nose. You're probably thinking, is this girl ever gonna stop? Inhale, all the way up, coming into that warrior two. Drop the left heel, come into that warrior two. And go ahead and side lunge to the front of the mat. Hands are in prayer. Cartwheel, the hands frame the left foot. Drop the right knee, coming into that low lunge. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands are gonna come out to that T position once again. We're just taking those eagle arms. So right arm's gonna come over the left. Take whatever variation you'd like here. Option is yours. Just ensure that the hands aren't coming into the face. Pull the hands out of the face. 
pull the elbows to be right in line with the shoulder blades. Okay, option to take a slight back bend if that feels good. Inhale. Exhale back to center. Curl the right toes under. We're going to come into that high lunge. Inhale up. This time we're going to take the right, I'm sorry, the elbows to kiss the left knee. So go ahead and hinge back. Inhale. Exhale. Challenging the bounce, challenging the core. Good. Inhale up. Yes, you're doing this. Exhale down. Good. Inhale one more. Exhale down. Coming back to center, lifting back in that high lunge. Your left thigh should be burning. Inhale. Exhale, release the arms and hinge over, framing the left foot. We've got that fallen triangle as we lift the left leg. Woo, release that muscle. Exhale, open up for that fallen triangle. Drop the foot or hold the fallen triangle for three, two, one. Go ahead and frame back to that plank, knee to nose. Shift it all the way back up. Left foot meets your right. Shift it forward. Take your chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale, down, moving on to the left side. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, left knee, elbow. Option to take a chatter on the push-up and then take that left leg back. Or just take it, knee to elbow, and take it back. Option is always yours. This is only if you want to keep adding on. So, meeting me wherever you are, knee to nose, drop the left foot. Woo, inhale. Prayer hands as you pull the prayer hands to those shoulder blades. Chest is proud. Inhale, prayer hands back to center. And we're twisting over to the left. Go ahead and twist for your hands. Four, three, two. Meeting me on the left side. One. We're just going to hinge this right elbow right outside the left knee. Put your hands to the center of the chest. Inhale. Again, option is yours with this warrior three variation. You can either come back to center, woo, and then lift up the right leg. Or you can come right here and then slowly lift the right leg up. Coming to that warrior three, then framing the leg, flexing the right foot, belly's engaged, back is long, spine is tall, inhale, exhale, reverse that warrior, good, you look beautiful, I promise, inhale, exhale, shift forward, arms, good, it's like a flow, like I've been saying, inhale, back, exhale, down, we're just stretching out that side body, one more time, inhale, up, exhale, down, again, if you'd like to take a bind, Totally, your option is yours. If not, just hold right here. But if you choose to do so, go ahead and take the arms back behind as they clasp behind the back. Pull the chest, gaze is up, shoulder blades out of the ears. Take a larger bend in that left knee if you'd like. Inhale, exhale, open back up if you're in that bind. Arms stay where they are as we just take a bend all the way in the right knee as we drag the left hand. Yes, you got it. Inhale here. Exhale, right hand's going to meet the left foot and the left hand. And we're just hinging, feeling the stretch in the back of the left leg. Catch your breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Open up. Cartwheel those arms open. Coming into a T position. Challenging the balance. Challenging the core. Belly's engaged here. Okay. Inhale. Exhale. Cartwheel. Frame the right foot. From here, we're going to lift up. High lunge. Go ahead and hinge. Exhale. You've got those chair taps for five, four, three. Belly's engaged. Two, one. Chair pose. Arms are back. Inhale here. Exhale, sink it down. Good. Yes, I'm still holding for five breaths. I did change my mind. <laughs> Hold here. Let it burn. Feel it. Feel the burn. You're worth it. I promise. If your kids are making you crazy, the chair is that much better. <laughs> Inhale here. Exhale, sink it down. Inhale one more time. Exhale down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, down. Step or hop back. Take that plank. Woo! Okay, chaturanga push-ups. You know I'm adding on. Shift forward. Belly's engaged. Shoulder blades. Take it down. Exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, up. Plank. Exhale, chaturanga push-up for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, up. Belly's engaged the whole time. You've got one more. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down that dog. Woo, breathe, exhale, down dog, inhale, left leg rises, exhale, knee to nose, drop the left foot, drop the right heel, come into that warrior two, cartwheel, open up here, arms are strong, engage as you exhale, take it down, woo, low side lunge, front of the mat, and frame the right foot, coming into that low lunge, drop the left knee, lift up, inhale, 
Exhale, take those arms to the T position here. Again, everything's tracking correctly here as we take the left arm over the right, come into those eagle arm position. Again, make sure hands are out of the face, pull the arms out. Elbows are right in line with the shoulder blades here. Okay, option to take a slight back bend if you'd like. Inhale as you take the back bend. Exhale, lift it all the way back up. Curl the left toes under. We're just meeting in a high lunge with the eagle arms. Good. Okay, we're going to shift it back. Exhale, elbow to knee. This is all abdominal work. Challenge your balance. This isn't easy, I promise. You've got two. Inhale up. Exhale down. Meeting me back to center. Go ahead and release the arms. Woo, should feel good on those shoulder blades. Exhale, fold over the right foot. We're opening up for that ball and triangle. So, right hand plants, open up. Again, either just hold floating ball and triangle or tap the foot down for four, three, two, one. Woo, go ahead and take that knee to your nose, coming back into that plank. Right leg goes all the way back, right foot meets your left. Take a chaturanga, down. Good, exhale, breathing through this. Okay, abdominals, don't hate me. Shift forward to plank. Right knee, right elbow, take it back. Left knee, left elbow, pick it up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, side plank, open up. Use this to catch your breath, inhale. Exhale, release. You've got 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, open up, side plank. Exhale, you've got five, that's it, just five, four, three, two, one. Take a chaturanga, take a down dog, take a child's pose. This is your practice. Oh, release, let it go. Okay. Okay, if you're not sweating, you're crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to keep adding on. <laughs> one more, one more flow, one more time, you got this. I'm telling you, yoga is not supposed to be easy. At least not for me. <laughs> okay, we're gonna keep challenging you. We're gonna keep getting better. Yoga is all about building off of fundamentals. So I'm giving you the fundamentals, but I'm also challenging you and giving yourself something to work for, right? Okay. I promise I'm not like this all the time. <laughs> okay, when you're ready, I hope you towed off. I hope you got some water. This is just one more time. You're worth it, I promise. This is a great way to get your kids to not make you crazy. Or your dog, or I don't know. I don't know what else there is. Your boyfriend, your husband, your girlfriend, your wife, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> when you're ready, come into that down dog, hands plant. Lift the hips up, walk your dog, get the blood flowing, okay? Here we go, one more time. Like I've been saying, you are worth it. Okay, inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. This time you can Keep the knee on your elbow and then chatter on the push up if you want to keep advancing. Or you can just keep going with the knee to elbow. Okay? You've got one more. Take whatever variation you'd like here. Regardless, I'll meet you knee to nose. Drop the right foot. Inhale up. High lunge. Prayer hands back of the shoulder blades. Feel the stretch in the low back. Bring the prayer hands back to center. We're twisting it off to the right. Prayer hand twists for five, four, Three, two, one. Meeting me in that twist. Left elbow is gonna come right outside that right knee. Pull the prayer hand, center of your chest. Inhale, twist. Okay, any warrior three variation you'd like here to come into it. You can either center or you can float that left foot as you slowly just challenge the balance. Come into that warrior three. Left foot's flex. Toes are pointing towards the mat. Chest is proud. Inhale. Exhale, reverse that warrior. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. You've got one more, inhale up, exhale down. Option to bind if you'd like or just hold. We're here for just one breath, inhale. Exhale, release the bind as you slowly come into that low side lunge, dragging the right hand, gazes up as you sweep the left hand forward. Woo, use this to catch your breath, breathe, inhale. Exhale, open up. Frame the left foot. Go ahead and lift up, high lunge. Exhale, hinge, you've got chair taps for five, four, three, two, one. Meeting me in chair, I promise we're not doing five breaths. You only got five seconds, how about that? Okay, inhale, hands go up. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Inhale, I mean, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. <laughs> exhale, fold, hop or step back into that plank. We've got those chaturanga push-up holds. You can do this. Exhale, down for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, up. Exhale, down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, up. Exhale, down for ten, nine, eight, seven. Belly's engaged. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, up dog. Woo! Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, right knee to nose. Right foot plants, left foot drops. The heel, we're just coming into warrior two, so open up cartwheel warrior two. Inhale, exhale, sweep it forward, low lunge. Frame the left leg, drop the right knee. Slow lunge here, inhale, open those arms up to a T position. Right arm's gonna cross over left. Eagle arms, okay? Again, everything's aligned, hands are out of your face. Go ahead and take a slight back bend if that feels good, inhale. Exhale back, curl the right toes under, meeting me in a high lunge, inhale. Take it back, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, release the arms. Fold over that left leg, opening up for that fallen triangle. Again, float the foot the whole time. Just challenge yourself here, drop the foot for four, three, two. One, frame that leg. Take the left leg all the way back. Okay, moving on to the left side. You're in a down dog, so left knee, left elbow. This is perfect. Take that chaturanga push loop if you'd like. Take whatever variation you'd like here. There's always room for advancements or beginners, okay? One more. Either way, knee to nose, I'll meet you there. Exhale, left foot down. Inhale, lift. Prayer hands back to the shoulder blades. Prayer hands back to center. Drop that right knee, prayer twist for four, three, two. Meeting me in that twist in one. Right elbow is going to come right outside the left knee. Prayer hands the center of your chest. Pull them to the center as you come into whatever warrior three variation that you'd like here. You can float the foot, frame the leg. Regardless, right foot's flexed, belly's engaged, spine is long. Exhale, reverse that warrior. Inhale here. Exhale down, it's just a flow. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Option to bind if you'd like. We're just here for one full breath. Pull the shoulder blades out of the ears. Bend in the knee. Inhale. Exhale, release. Take that side lunge back to the mat. So you extend the left leg, bend in the right knee. Open up the arms. Inhale here, gazes up. Exhale, sweep the right hand, meeting the left foot. Stretching out the back of the leg. Inhale. Open up, cartwheel the arms, challenge the bounce, T position here, belly's engaged, inhale. Exhale, frame the right foot, lifting up, high lunge, inhale here. Exhale, hinge. We're going to take those chair tops for five, four, three, two, one. Meeting me in chair, again, just five seconds, but I challenge you to take those hips all the way back. You can see the toes, heels are slightly kicked out, belly's engaged, three, two, one, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. One more set of chaturanga push-up holds. You can do this. Exhale, fold, hands plant. Hop back to plank. You're worth it, I promise. Take that chaturanga push-up hold for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale up. Exhale, down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale up. You can do this one more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come into that down dog or up dog, I'm sorry, breathe. Inhale, exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, knee to nose. Drop the left foot, drop the right heel. Just opening up for warrior two. Exhale down, low side lunge, front of the mat. Frame the right foot. Drop the left knee, low lunge lift. Exhale, hands to the T position. Left arm over right this time, okay? Every side's different. Just make sure that those hands are not here. You wanna pull them in front of you, okay? Elbows are aligned with the shoulder blades as you exhale, take a slight back bend. Inhale, lift back up. Curl the left toes under as we come into high lunge with eagle arms. Inhale up. Okay, get the prayer hands back as you exhale, hinge. For three, lift back up. Good. Two, challenge the balance, challenge the abdominals. One more. Elbows to knee. Lift back up, back to center. Inhale. 
Exhale, release the shoulder blades. Should feel good. Maybe some spirit fingers. I don't know. Go ahead and fold over that right leg. You've got fallen triangle one more time, okay? Hands are on the mat. Pull the right foot up. Open up, fallen triangle. Float the right foot or drop it if you'd like. Take those lifts for four, three, two, one. Take that knee back to your nose. Take it all the way back. Right foot meets your left. Take your chaturanga. <laughs> Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Okay, you can do this, I promise. You're out of breath, you're tired, you're frustrated, you're stronger than that, I promise. Shift it forward to plank, inhale. Right knee to elbow, take it back. Left knee to elbow, take it back. Pick it up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, side plank, catch your breath. Exhale, coming back to that plank. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, side plank one more time. Catch your breath, inhale. Exhale, hands plant. Take it up for 10, just kidding. Four, three, two, one. Take a chaturanga or child's pose or down dog, okay? Whatever you'd like here. Just catch your breath, but tune into that breath. You did it. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I know that wasn't easy, but I want you to feel stronger. I want you to feel accomplished. I want you to feel proud of yourself, okay? I hope you did some of these things and you were like, oh my God, I never knew I could do that. But here you are. And if anything, keep working on it. My video is always gonna be around. I'm always gonna be around. Okay, it was fun. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll give you your shavasana. You deserved it. So come to that child's pose. I'm gonna cool you down, stretch you out. Hips go back, hands walk out. Woo, breathe into this. Drop the belly into the mat. Walk the hands out, breathe, okay? Inhale, slow the breath down. Exhale, release. Okay, shifting forward. We're just gonna come into a tabletop. So take those knees to line with the hips. Wrists, of course, are aligned with the elbows, arms. And we're just going to swivel those hips back and forth gently. This should feel good on the lower back, the hips, everything in between. <laughs> okay, when you're ready, we're gonna curl the toes and just shift those bottoms back to click the heels as we curl the toes under. We're just coming into a down dog. So just walk out your dog, check in, align yourself up here. Walk your dog. We're gonna walk those feet to meet the hands, just like at the beginning of class. Again, check in, maybe you're a little bit more flexible here. Maybe you're like, oh man, my body's warmed up. <laughs> okay, so just ragdoll into this. So we're gonna grab opposite hands, opposite elbows. Neck is heavy, shake it, yes. Ooh, shake it, no. Option to shake the whole body. So just shift the hips back and forth, just feeling a different stretch in the hamstrings. Okay, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale. Hold. We're gonna just come to a seated position. So just bring the knees to the center of the chest. Take the hands to the back behind the hips and just slowly shift the hips all the way back. And come into that Shavasana. So just take the back all the way down. Knees can be in the chest if they like or they can extend all the way out however you'd like to get there. Woo! Shavasana. <laughs> Enjoy this. Breathe, relax. Let your body sink into this. Pull the shoulder blades into the ears and then pull, circle them all the way back, shoulder blades down. Palms are up, legs are loose. Just breathe. Again, I hope you have some music. If not, put some on.
gently wiggling those fingers and toes, just bringing awareness back into the body. If you'd like to take a long shavasana, please do so. And if you're with me, go ahead and bring those knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice big tight hug, being proud of yourself, being proud of how hard you worked. I hope you felt challenged. I hope you felt like you got a good workout. I hope you feel stronger above anything else. I hope you do feel tremendously stronger. Okay, shift over to the right side. Slowly bringing into that fetal position as we take the knees over to the right. Forearm comes all the way out as we gently just rest the head with the forearm. Take a few breaths here. Being grateful for your able body, being grateful for all the hard work that you just accomplished, that you just did, that I just put you through. <laughs> when you're ready, come into a seated position at the front of your mat. Oh, legs are crossed, palms are opened up, back of the palm, or hands are resting on those knees, eyes are closed. And we're gonna take three big cleansing breaths together. So inhale all the way up. Arms go up with a big O. And exhale down. Good. Inhale all the way up. Release. Let it all go at the very top. Ready? Exhale down. Yes. Good. One more time. Inhale all the way up. Hands touch. Prayer hands. Exhale. Bring those prayer hands to the center of your chest. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. I hope you feel stronger, better. Whatever it is that you're going through, you can get through it. I promise. Life is challenging, just like yoga. But you can get through it. Namaste.